What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18.3 Beta 1 to registered developers. Now along with this release, we also got the first beta for iPadOS 18.3, watchOS 11.3, macOS Sequoia 15.3, tvOS and HomePod 18.3, and VisionOS 2.3. But of course in this video we are talking all about iOS 18.3 Beta 1. So starting off with the size of this update of course we were coming from a final release before 18.2 so anytime you go from a final release to a beta or vice versa you're always going to see a large update size regardless of what's included in the software version so it came in at 7.38 gigs on my 16 pro max let's go and check out the build number and our settings general about iOS version. The new build is 22D5034E. So we do have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates we have a couple betas to go before the final release. And we'll talk about when we can expect to see 18.3 beta 2 and the final release near the end of this video. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 18.3 beta 1? And as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, Apple's 0.3 updates, like 18.3, those updates are almost never Ever major updates. These type of updates, these point threes, are typically smaller updates, more bug fix updates, since the point two and the point four updates are the big ones every year. So this year, 18.2, of course, was a big update. And then the point four updates will also be a large update. So in between, we do have 18.3. And every year, the point three update is not a major update. So just, you know, with that knowledge in your head, just know that there's not going to be a ton of major features here in 18.3 and that's evident here in beta 1 because there's really not a lot that has been changed from 18.2 so one of the first changes you'll notice after installing 18.3 beta 1 is inside of our settings accessibility and then if you go down here to the camera control you can see that the glyph icon to the left now has a dark mode version there's also a slight change in the photos application so if you go to a photo or a video where a person is detected but they're not recognized by your device it will now say feature a person less before on 18.2 it said feature this person less but as far as the behavior of photos and the photos application that remains the same specifically when you're talking about screenshots so before if you remember you had to tap on the screen to see the full screenshot because when you loaded it up it would load up in a small version but of course that was you know changed in a previous ios version and that remains here with 18.3 so no major changes to that and that goes for videos as well if you take vertical videos you can see that remains the same as 18.2 as well and it also looks like ios 18.3 beta 1 adds support for robot vacuums in the home application so if you have a robot vacuum with matter support you could be able to add that here with 18.3 that's something that apple mentioned at the worldwide developers conference and now it looks like you can do that if you're on the beta and of course when the final release comes out in the image playground application we now have the up and down arrows once again since we are on a beta we have a change to that UI so it shows the up arrow and down arrow for how Jinmoji did or how image playground did with creating that image and also up in the top right you can see once again we have the report a concern option right there instead of being within these three dots right here and then the same thing goes with Jinmoji so we now have the up and down arrows so we can rate how good the Jinmoji creation was based on our text so that is a good thing to have especially here in the betas so apple can improve genmoji and image playground to continue to get better and speaking of genmoji genmoji also comes to the mac with mac os sequoia 15.3 beta 1 which was also released today so it was always a mystery why that was missing in 15.2 but now at least it's there with 15.3 now we just need the mail updates to come over to mac os as well and while we're on the subject of apple intelligence i I do also want to mention that, that Apple Intelligence is coming to the EU with iOS 18.4, not 18.3. So a few people were confused when they updated and they did not have Apple Intelligence in the EU. That's because that is coming with the next update, iOS 18.4. 
4, which the final version of that is expected in April. Of course, we'll get betas before that, but the final version is expected in April for that version. Then that's going to get Apple intelligence for those in the EU. Now, taking a look at the release notes for iOS 18.3 beta 1, we only have two things mentioned here. So we do have a resolved issue for Jinmoji. So it says we have a fix for a personalized Jinmoji might not generate without selecting a different person first. And then there's also a resolved issue for writing tools. So it says that for third party apps adopting writing tools API on iOS, if the first responder is not a UI view, it will not be able to use the complete inline experience. So that was a bug beforehand. And now that is fixed. Now, as far as the performance goes, I would expect performance to be pretty similar to what we saw with iOS 18.2. I don't think we're going to see much worse performance here with 18.3 beta one, especially since we don't have a ton of new additions. And again, you know, 18.3 is known for being a smaller update than the 0.2 or the 0.4 updates, which means that there's less to break. And usually it's a little bit more stable than those versions in the early beta stages. So for that reason, you know, I don't think it's going to be a major issue to be on this first beta for a long time, but we'll talk about that in a moment. But so far it feels pretty solid to me. I mean, especially for a first beta, we did score lower than 18.2 in our Geekbench here. So 3470 on the single core, 8659 on the multi-core. You can see how that compares to our previous runs. This is the 18.2 final. So a bit lower, but really not that massive of a difference. And then as far as the battery life goes, I think this is in a pretty similar spot to the performance. I don't think it's going to be terrible for a first beta. I also don't think it's going to be great because it is a beta after all. So just keep that in mind. It's too early to tell exactly how good or bad it is, but I will update you guys as the weeks go on. Okay. So now let's talk about when to expect iOS 18.3 beta two. Now I do not expect to see 18.3 beta two until January, most likely the week of January 6th or at the latest, the week of January 13th. So just keep that in mind. If you are planning to install 18.3 beta one on your main device, you will be stuck with that for about three weeks, potentially even longer. And then as far as the final release goes for iOS 18.3, I would not expect that until either the end of January or early February. And then after that, we should see the 18.4 betas kick off. And of course we will see that at some point in April, that's going to be a pretty large update. So yeah, if you're not used to running betas on your main device, I would just hold off on 18.3 beta one, honestly, you know, but if you're somebody who's seasoned and you've run betas many times on your main device, there's probably nothing to worry about. You know, even though you do have a long period of time before the second beta, it doesn't seem like there's a lot that's changed, you know, going from 18.2 to 18.3 beta one. So I don't think it's the worst risk in the world to make, but just know what you're getting yourself into before you commit to being, you know, on a beta one for such a long period of time. Me personally, I will not be updating my main device to 18.3 beta one until we get closer to, you know, the release of beta two, just in case I do run into any issues. I'm just going to be running iOS 18.3 beta one on this device, my test device, which does have, you know, its own plan, its own eSIM. So I will still be using it. I will still, you know, understand how it works on a day to day, but I'm not going to risk it on my main main device over here. Anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 18.3 beta one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS 18 beta videos, especially when that 18.4 beta starts to roll out because that's going to be a big one. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.